It's going to be a mel -tastic. No, it's not. A mel -erific. Nope. Lots of a mel adventure, plenty of a mel excitement. Stop it. So it's going to be in a mel of a good time. <laughs> this is why I always <laughs> avoided you at Christmas. You mean a mel's isthmus. <laughs> Steven, sure. as a lot of people don't know, is seven years older than me. As you can tell if you look at his face. Debatable. At best. <laughs> than these guys. Oh, shut <laughs> you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> All right, I'm starting off with a doozy. Jack wants to know, would you rather have leg-sized fingers or finger-sized legs? <laughs> <laughs> leg-sized fingers. Great, you know what? Great really good first question. <laughs> really, really good. What the fuck was going on on your Facebook page that that's your first question? You know, for a flash hat and shirt, you're asking a real arrow question. <laughs> So, Firestorm and Killer Frost are having a baby. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just interested. How, how, how do you think the children would grow up and how would this happen? <laughs> More than anything, I'd just be so curious as to what would come out. <laughs> Honestly, my favorite part of this weekend so far is getting to reunite with these lovely faces. I don't I don't get to see them all the time, you know? So I love I seeing seen you in like a Brandon. Year. I know. I love seeing Brandon and Katie and Italia Ricci's husband. It's like it's I'm just gonna say that it would be the actual movie Titanic. Oh, but then you die! But then yeah. you die and you would be okay with that if you got to go on the Titanic. I hate clocks. Do you really? I hate them. Ticking. Explain yourself. Explain Ticking. yourself. Tick okay, digital clock. I'm fine. Okay. Ticking. I hate it. Italia knows this. My girlfriend knows it. You, we can't have ticking clocks in the house. Was if I hear a ticking clock while I'm trying to sleep, I cannot no. sleep. I'll find a ticking clock. Was bum, bum, ba, da, da, da. <laughs> can't carry a tune at all. <laughs> There's no singing. The sing my uh, my agent asked if I want to go on an audition and it was a musical and I was like, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. I can lip sync with the best of them though. Well, that's all you have to do in a movie. Ask Grant. And for the musical episode of the I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm a much better golfer than I am football player. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to what? I don't want to be anybody's duff anymore, okay? I want to be my own person. I get to my mark and right where I'm supposed to throw a football is a giant diffusion. <laughs> so I'm like, where am I supposed to throw this football? And they're like, well, just throw it to somebody standing beside the camera. I'm like, so I'm throwing the football to someone three feet in front of me. Right. And this is just a PA who's standing beside the, the camera and I don't want to rifle a football at somebody a few feet from me. With and diffusion I up, equipment all around, right? Well, I just end up making this stupid, dim, like, dinky dunk pass. Throwing and motion. I, I fought the director on it. You fought it. You fought the director. Yeah, on it. I was like, just make some space for me. And they're like, um, when it went viral, the director texted me and he's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I told you, <laughs> right. I told you this would happen. And he was like, I can go on Twitter. I'm like, don't. It's fine. I'm like, just hopefully it'll die one day. And then it went way more viral. And I had friends hitting me up and they're like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, shut up. This is not my fault. When I, I got in touch with him immediately yeah. and he said, I have been dreading this day Seven since years. the premiere of the film. I thought it was free. <laughs> it had been the, lying had, The movie came out and like, it was like six years ago. Hi. Um, you're amazing. And the work that you're doing is beyond words and you give much needed light into this world thank you um i have two questions as you know elicity fans are very how do you know she wasn't talking to me she's <laughs> <laughs> wearing a shirt with my face on it bro. <laughs> but obviously there is a bit of a resemblance mm -hmm. so robbie do people ever get you too confused uh they did from my 15th birthday until i was legal to drink because i stole steve's <laughs> id well, I didn't steal it. We were at a, a family dinner and I was like, hey, do you have a fake ID or do you have an ID? And uh, he's seven years older than me. Yeah. 
So I was 15 pretending to be 22. <laughs> and like, I'd hand it to a bouncer and he'd look at me and he'd be like, scan it, yeah. it's a real ID. Right. Hand it back to me, let me in the bar. Nice, <laughs> nice. So did you ever get your ID back? Uh-uh. Wow. I still have it somewhere. Really? Yeah. It'll be worth something someday. <laughs> How does it feel to have such a successful cousin? I have a Kids' Choice Award. <laughs> But it's from the Netherlands. It says, best to Siri. <laughs> <laughs> what was it for? Drew Jackson. Oh, my. <laughs> and I'm reading uh, a script for the CW produced by Greg Berlanti called Arrow. And when you read something, you're reading it with yourself in mind. And I'm like five pages in and I'm like, oh, cool. Steven's going to book this. <laughs> And uh, I got off the plane and I texted him. I was like, hey, have you, have you read Arrow? And he's like, I don't even know what that is. And I was like, all right, read it. You're going to book this role. And I sent an email to my agents. I was like, yeah, the script is great. My cousin's going to book this. And two weeks, like a few days later, he went in. He was the first guy that read. And he was the only guy that needed to read. They had, they had cast him. Toilet paper. <laughs> Do you fold or crumple? Hashtag just curious. That's all the time we have. That's all the time we have. Thanks.